Hello everyone, this is Dustin Dawson, aka The Hopeful Gamer. Uh, today I'm going to be playing against my friend Bunlink again. Uh, this is going to be our non-restricted match for the week. Um, so, I'm ready to go, he's ready to go, let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, fun fact of the day, 52% of Earth's human population is under 30 years old. I thought that was pretty cool, I know it's been in the last couple videos, I need to remember to update my facts on a more daily basis. But... Still, nonetheless, pretty fun. Uh, today, I'm going to be using a team that I'm honestly surprised, like, it's not 100% done, it's only about 50%, you know, crafted, and then 50% I threw this on here because they're good Pokemon to have. Uh, but it's still a couple Pokemon I'm wondering why people haven't been trying to use in competitive play. Um, and I'm hoping to figure out why in this match. I'm hoping that I just kind of get stomped a little bit and taught a lesson. That being said, you'll see my team here in a moment. It's going to revolve around uh, Reggie Alecki and Tapu Koko. I'm sure you can already figure out where I'm going with this. I just could not, for the life of me, figure out like why is nobody at least trying this so far. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. I guess we will find out. Let's do that gym leader. And let's get to it. <sighs> Alright, so game one of match five. Apparently he did not get the memo. That we're not doing restricted. One second. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try this again. Uh, I'm going to look like... I'm not going to leave the chunk of the B right back there in the recording, but I'm going to... Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But let's try this again. It makes me sad because now he probably... I hope he didn't pay attention to what I have. But yeah, Reggie Alecki and Top Coco. Uh, I feel like together they can actually be very, very strong. Uh, I'll decide myself. I don't have Rising Voltage on top on uh, Regieleki because honestly, there's a lot of flyers out there right now, so I don't feel like it's super duper good. Whereas, you know, Volt Switch and Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt's stronger, just generally, and uh, Volt Switch has a good utility to it. Whereas Rising Voltage is actually pretty weak unless it gets its double power thing. So yeah. Okay. Honestly, we're pretty safe for the opening I want to do. Um, let's see. They both have Volt Switch. I don't know what Urshifu that is, but he doesn't know what my Urshifu is either. Uh, I do feel like Heatran's probably going to be a good Pokemon to bring here. He resists pretty much everything on that team, except for Moltres. Yep, I feel like these are good choices. Yeah, I want to see just how much power I can put out here. Should be fun. Maybe we should update our cards every week, too. I don't know. I really like my card. I don't think I want to change it for a while. We're pretty safe to discharge and electro web here. Like, Aleki's gonna take damage, but I feel like this probably does significant damage to both opposing Pokemon. I 
I was really expecting that follow me. That's fine. My speed! Oh, these two are just so fast. I don't understand why people wouldn't be using them. Hmm. I feel like we're pretty safe to discharge again. Uh, let me just Volt Switch out. Like, I think Reggie Lucky's probably still faster unless that's max speed Dragonite. Yeah. On the electric terrain, Reggie like it just does so much. I'm just watch, switch and ride on and this charge goes to town here. I was hoping for that paralysis, but it's whatever. Oh man. Who do I have here? Yeah, it's a pretty good swap here. Uh, and then we can just go max rockfall into you. Quadruple, <laughs> hold on. Quadruple resisting steel, big deal. <clears throat> now we got Rhydon with that massive, <laughs> like, he's so bulky. Uh, I built mine, like, a very spe specific way to just be able to take hits like nobody's business. Like, it's gonna take a lot to bring him down. I don't care about my speed stat. That's fine. Sandstorm will tell us the speed order. It's a good thing to pay attention for. Excuse me. Dragonite is the fastest Pokemon right now. Well, he's the only one affected by Sandstorm right now, so... Whoops! <laughs> uh, I really don't want to pop a weakness policy, but I probably don't have much of a choice. Could go Max Guard. Yep. Because that way Dragonite will be over and I will still have one more turn of Dynamax. And he also doesn't get to lower my attack stat. There we go. Whew. Right. Now a Max Rockfall should take him out. Um, he does have plus two defense, but Flash Cannon plus that should be more than enough.
Alright, so that's game one. Uh, I feel like the team did it exactly what I wanted it to do, so... It worked! Um, my biggest concern was whether or not just charge would work alongside... Um, Freaking whatchamacallit. Lightning Rod. Uh, but it did, so... Would you like... Yes. Alright, one more game. Champion? We'll save that one for a different match. Let's do Legend 1. I wish they had themes from past games in here. That would be, like, the coolest thing. Um, let's see. Honestly, I don't see any reason not to bring those same Pokemon. Um, I need to make sure not to switch right on in if I decide to Dynamax Regieleki. That's the biggest thing. I guess the biggest thing is, do I really need to do that? I honestly, like, there's no real reason to. Uh... Bolt switch. And... No. You gotta go the double spread. It's alright. And that's why you go the double spread. Follow me, such a friggin' pain in the butt. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have some words thrown at me after this match, just because, like, this is such a, like, hyper-offensive lead. I'm honestly surprised I haven't gotten a paralysis off of Discharge yet. It's kind of weird. Um, I feel like this is pretty safe. Reggie like he's still the fastest right now, so yep. Makes the most sense. <sighs> Uchimama. I don't see any way around this happening, unless he max guards. But yeah, uh, it's just Transistor plus Life Orb plus, uh, plus the Electric Terrain. It's just so, so impressive. If the opponent doesn't have a Lightning Rod, like, there's not really any way to deal with it.
tail end yet. I minus one his speed. I am still faster. Wow! Alright then. So that was two games using this new Topic Coco Reggie Lucky team I put together. Uh, we're going to have some words about this here in a minute, so I'll be right back. Alright, let me have it. Yell at me. No, I'm not going to yell. It's I, I lost fair and square. I couldn't be... I, no, no combination was be beating your start. Not a single, not a single open I had could beat your start. That is... Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say that's fair, but I tried to be faster with a or Tailwind or Shifu didn't matter. Like nothing, the like, just boom, you're slower. Boom, discharge. Nothing of mine survived that. So good game. <laughs> like that, sometimes you just can't win. That was one of those times. Yeah. I saw the amount of flying on your team and I felt kind of bad because my team literally, like, that's the team, is Reggie Alexa. Oh, no, no, like, uh, don't feel bad. <laughs> I was in a no-win scenario. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I didn't build that team for double electric open. Electric spam. Which is fine. Yeah. I mean, I mean, now you know, I guess. To, like, I mean, I'm not going to encounter that online often, so... That's, see, um, I was actually talking about that while the match was going on a little bit. I honestly don't understand why that team isn't online a bunch. Because with Discharge and Electrowood, you don't care about Lightning Rod. Yeah, like, one thing's getting that special attack boost, but... As a player, I understand your love, because you've used it in a lot of matches, for Reggie Lecky, because it's speed... And then speed control is just ridiculous. Like, it's not only that it's the fastest Pokemon. Yeah. It gets the best, I pure just slower spread move for its type. And gets that boosted. Like, it's... I'm not going to call... Like, it's just fantastic. It and is. I think I have to start using Regilecki against you. But, my, like, I, I have to apparently just put Choice Scarf on mine and be like, I, I'm faster! <laughs> <laughs> This is a very good Pokemon. So I don't know if you realize this. Um, mine was mine is modest. Uh, max special attack, Life Orb, and his ability is obviously Transistor. And yeah. on Electric Terrain, you've got a fifty percent boost, a fifty percent boost, and a thirty percent boost, and your stab. Like when Reggie Lecky come out, they should have also released like a ground move that's priority. <laughs> <laughs> um. How did you like Ride On on my team? D it was different. Yeah, I threw it on there because the entire the reason the only reason I could come up with that people aren't using this opening is because people will have Lightning Rod Pokemon every now and then. Mm -hmm. So I decided why not just use the spread moves primarily, and then Ride On. It's also because opposing electric types can then abuse your electric terrain, namely Regieleki. Well. Right on. Yeah, no, like, I thought round two would be different, so I was like, I'll follow me, it didn't matter. Spread, your spread move's just perfect. That's why I went double spread. Yeah. I, like, I said that during the match, I was like, well, he's gonna follow me, so spread spread. You actually didn't follow me the first time, and I was like, cheeky. <laughs> um, did you like the helping hand on the right off? <laughs> no, it, it all worked out in your favor. There was no... I'm not, I'm trying to not be salty because I have to acknowledge that that is one of those moments where I'm looking at my team, there's nothing I could have done. I understand. Like, Dynamaxing early still wouldn't have mattered, it would have been slower. Um, I was expecting to see Focus Sash on your Urshifu. My Urshifu was Choice Banded. Uh. The entire point is that I want to try to hit you hard and fast, and then you're just like, I'm harder, I'm faster. <laughs> Hyper offensive doesn't work against better hyper offensive. Yeah. Yeah. So, yay. Well, yeah. Again, sorry. Don't apologize. All right. 
But we did find out that that opening is actually, like, super hyper-offensive and oppressive. Yeah. So... No, it, oh, oh, Reggie Leckie is highly oppressive. It's true. Like, it is what, uh, I. It is the best new Pokemon. Out of the new Pokemon that came out here, it's the best. We can agree on that. Yeah. Like, Transistor's just such a good ability. Yeah. What do you do? That's a 50% boost. Oh, does it stack with other boosts? No, it's multiplicative with other boosts. Yeah, I want to make it clear to your audience, I don't think Regilecki is unstoppable. Oh, absolutely not. I just think that it was the best of the new mods we got. But, don't... I guess if I was going to say anything for the audience, don't depend on Lightning Rod to stop Regilecki, because Electroweb is on basically every Regilecki. It's just too good of a move, it provides speed control, good enough power with his ability and whatever item you happen to throw on him. Like, he is a very strong and hyper-offensive Pokemon. The best way to deal with him is a priority move that he doesn't resist, I would say. So, Aqua Jet Choice Band? Probably would have taken him out. Uh, in hindsight. Let's, I guess we can do that calc real quick. Switch over to my display here. We will turn off Netflix because I'm not allowed to show that. Mine doesn't have Aqua Jet. <laughs> Ah, I have coverage. <laughs> uh, I have the Aerial Ace and the Thunder Punch. It's still worth looking into. Uh, Urshifu. Rapid Strike style. I'm just going to blank set. doesn't matter. So, Aqua Jet. Uh, Regieleki. I don't know what the Picolytic set is, but this is the one that I found to be the best. Um, was it two? What was my Reggie Alecky's HP? Mine is max speed, max attack. With a Adam and Nature. So, Adamant, Aqua Jet. Item choice band, you said? Yeah, I might have been able to get faster if I had been jolly, but I wasn't. Wow. What? Doesn't one shot? It only does 53 to 63%. <laughs> See? I'm just like, but I'm like, what? Because Reggie Lucky is very frail. Well, but apparently he's not as frail as I think he is. Stab matters, and 100 HP is still good. <laughs> Fair. Uh, so yeah. I guess an Aqua Jet would not take him out. Interesting. Uh, well, in my next video, I'll probably bring it up at the beginning of the video, because uh, we're definitely going to talk about and try to figure out some ways to deal with Reggie Alecki, because he is extremely, like, he's just really hard to deal with. So, yeah. I guess that'll be all for this video. Uh, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, don't lose hope, stay safe, have a good night. Share this video! That too.